But yes, um, this excerpt you know, features um, a really funny point of view of a uh, uh, Barbadian musician not long returned to the island after a sojourn in, um, in England. Um, the woman he encounters is uh, Lavinia, um, also a Barbadian, but a high school teacher um, home on holiday um, from Atlanta, uh, Georgia. Uh, the two of them seem to, to sense some common struggle uh, as, they, as their paths intersect on, on, on Brandon's beach. Livy was singing as he reached the shore. Then eager, sun-glazed eyes looked for her, but see only the gray smoke that rises in slim spirals from each distant rum refinery tower. He tosses himself face down, like a man starting push-ups, curls one bent arm to support his head, looks for her again, sees only the empty beach, the sun blazes, a constant slow hand deep massaging his brown skin. He dozes. Creeping salty waves reach and splash over him. Jumping up, he strolls down beach, pausing to stare at curious stones mottling the shore, just finding ways to fill time up. At last, he spots something moving. A blurred shape becomes an island grows distinct, the woman who had hailed him from the way. Searching eyes narrow the space, no one stops until they're standing face to face, speechless like runners from a race. Not seeing how the sand there drops away, his gaze on her. He stumbles, startling an angry, scuttling crab. Seeing him about to fall, she grabs his hand, and laughing, they tumble to the bed of Brandon's soft sand, bathed in light streaming on the shore. Now blessed by Carl's hissing cure, they lie together hand in hand. He the took and she the rook. Like curling anemones, they dance on the reef's floor. Like fish, entranced, each caresses the other's rock of pain. Calcified knots of grief, long built, each touch a symbiotic exchange, like the sinking love gift of Caroline Algae to the reef. Shot from petrified branches, each ramiferous tentacles and interlacing potent cell, luminous harmony of sexes. All over the coral tree, traces of love, death, a, re a rich complex fabric of two weaving quilting architects, bone upon bone, of former races. So she was he, and he was she. Eyes now filled with mutual longing. They swim with white and yellow markings, atop coral crab's smooth bright belly, atop long spine arrowed black urchin, and his partner in terror, known as fireworm, poised to release rows of white bristles into any skin. A top parasitic, surly, red and white striped banded coral shrimp. A top spiny lobster who is lit with rage at the stranger in his bed. A top receptacle of basket sponge, avoiding the touch me not for our coral's red hair. Chew, brush sponges. Loggerhead, fixed, mulish. It's not his launch. A top small mouth grunts, sharpening their teeth. Snapper jaws chomping through the ripples, rising butterfly swarms of blue angels, rainbow parrotfish, yellow goldfish, great barracuda solo sliding in steely gray, the moray eel bobbing in olive threads this way. If Queen Count and Helmet now could announce all the rare beauty here, see that stony dead living tree clothed in thick algae. A scorpion fish revealed by its stare. Here, Creole voices, black and white, and all else in between, in plural patchwork, blessed with carnival, each one same but yet unique. Here, the chance for pure passion, where reefs call in, recreate, on light dreams, united state, fabled illusion, where metaphor is con. 
who once certainly leads through time, the blindfold that vision denies, who wants a life fashioned from lies, that fears hearing alone its own rhyme. Here within Carnival's bright inn, the rising forest of the sea, emblem of living dead ecology, hard wounds would heal when rinsed with salt, and weary footsore foot wanderers find bright morning's grace in sight of pink crabs scuttling race on Edenic Casalino shore. What providential lace-like touch led them both searching to this beach without expectations, so that each simply heeded the soft lurch of sand, the cresting or consuming surf, the swift egrets, gentle clasp of wings, when dauntless they settled with sounds of great journeys, turmoils, deaths, and births. You ask, did they exchange names? Did she say Lavinia? Did he whisper on that sand, call me tamer of the seas? No, they made exits, tittering, oh, I'm sorry, oh, please excuse me. The moment had been an eternity, a deep ancient song of possessing glimpsed certainties, the chance of pure congruence. Yet, for all they had come, both saw the wall of self falling like a dying dance, or sandbox leaves falling on sand. These hard symbols mirrored their ruins, their grim histories, a truth that hints every living woman, living man. Thank you. Um, I'm glad that um, Ipotria asked us to um, read, read um, poetry um, by some other um, poet, um, because this, after all, is a celebration of, of, of People Tree Press's 25th anniversary. And so I'm, I'm being very fortunate to be asked to um, be one of the featured um, poets. But I think it's, it's great that we're sharing other People Tree authors' work as well. Um, Wayne Brown, um, you know, I first met um, Wayne Brown through um, a book of his called On the Coast, and the posthumous collection is, is actually called On the Coast and Other Poems, but it, it, this book, that book On the Coast came out in 1972, just when I was um, beginning to think um, of myself as a, as a poet, and I mean, it, it just it basically blew my mind. Um, the same way, uh, let's say, you know, Derek Walcott's um, In a Green Night, Walcott's first book, you know, um, sort of really moved me um, uh, very, very, very deeply. I, I got to meet um, Wayne in, in 1990 when I was, when I was directing the, um, the San Francisco Conference at Augusta State University and had the opportunity to spend some time with me from that the following year um, when I did a little, a little tour um, to promote one of my, one of my books. Uh, what fascinates me, what fascinated and still fascinates me about, about Wayne's poetry is really, you know, many things, but um, to be brief, um, really the way, you know, he, he effortless, effortlessly, um, um, you know, marries uh, language, you know, and landscape, um, both inner landscape and external landscape, um, um, to, to convey um, personal, you know, analytical, uh, re realities. So here is On the Coast by Wayne Brown. One, the light thunders, rain puckers the ocean. I see a small town found, then forgotten, rusted in silence by a sea's edge, red liners no longer come. You came to me here, bewildered girl, your body warm and heavy with sleep. Your eyes were calamitous waters. How brave were your admonitions. Later you spoke to me quietly, as at a distance or under rain, the sea nuzzles its sand bit. You were beautiful and I loved you. Will you never be home again? Two. The warehouse on the waterfront is empty tonight. The ocean shines. Moon, it is a winter moon. A moth's wing netted in cloud. 
Why do I sit at these late nights, barefooted on a broken pier? I never saw galleons enter the moon, nor the great house that burned on the hill, and the unpunctual fishermen who came out of nowhere suddenly, rounding the point on long oars. He had nothing to say to me. Night, I am getting nowhere. I am a girl, I am scared. Don't leave me. Three. Across the bay, the street lamps stare like amber intersections, and aimlessly a tree shadow splashes the seawall. The surf turns its pages on dark sand. The dark boats slip by me as by a lantern. Darkness devours the voices, and I am an orphaned islander on a sand spit of memory. In a winter of days, I have no home.